Hey people. So remember in um the, the, the video, the video collage video where she was walking with a cane Who's and I tell she? you my aunt. Who's she? Oh, looks a nice night camera. No, man. <laughs> and, I, and my aunt was walking with, the, with the, the cane. And I told you, we'll do a story time as to why she's walking with the cane. So this is the video with the story time. I don't have a tripod. I'll be holding the camera with my hands. So still with me and the shakiness. All right? So let's get into it. So oh, yes. talk to us about this. Well, one day I went to work. Went Hold to on. You have to talk loud. Turn down this because too much, too much AC breeze. All right. Go All right. On. One day I got up, went to work, came back home, went to bed. The Monday, got up, got up the Tuesday to go to the bathroom. My leg was was drawing, but it, it felt like I think it felt like when you have a sleep leg. So that's what I thought. But when I came back from the bathroom, I couldn't lift my leg up in the bed, so I asked my husband to help me with, put my leg up there. And then I went back to sleep. And then I went back to sleep. So when I got up to get up to, to go to work, I couldn't move, I couldn't move my leg. So my husband and my daughter get me in the car, take me to my doctor. When my doctor see me coming up the car, she said, no, go back in the car. You have to go to, she said, send me to a special doctor, hospital. She said, that looked like a stroke to me. Oh. A stroke? Why would, why would I, I was 46, why would I have a stroke at 46? So I, we were talking about, it could be, a, um, a, um, what did you say it was? A pinch nerve. No, it wasn't a pinch nerve. What it was? Pinch nerve? No. I forgot what they said it was. What we were thinking about. But what we were thinking about wasn't as severe as a stroke. I think it was something simple. Yeah, something simple. Probably muscle contract or something. So when we went there and then do their brain test and we go to the MRI and stuff like that. Full blown stroke at four to six. So this so is not too young. Not talking about um just a just a little stroke. Talking about a stroke where you cannot do nothing at all. Because one side was completely out. It's like I'm walking with a dead side. Completely dead side. So I couldn't sit up. Couldn't turn. Couldn't do nothing at all. I mean, I could not turn in the bed that I was in. I could not get up or nothing. Gotcha. I was crippled. Handicapped, what they call it over here. How long ago was that again? Ten years ago. Ten yeah, years. This March makes ten years. Oh, so, so is this your tenure? Yeah, that's my stroke anniversary. Where I get all the stuff. Stroke anniversary. My daughter call it. My daughter, and my son call it stroke anniversary. So every year they pamper me because I, I survive the next year. Yep. So it's my cholesterol was high, my blood pressure was high, my sugar was high. So all three of them combined, and it was really high. Let me say your blood. Blood pressure, cholesterol, cholesterol, and my blood sugar, diabetic. Oh. Wow. So Should that's what pressure. I've been dealing with for the past 10 years to now. And a lot of people think that um, you have a stroke and you can walk around and everything is good. But then stroke does, does a lot of damage on the inside that you can't just explain to people and tell them, oh, that, that, uh, that is bad and that is bad. Those are the stuff where you keep to yourself or your, your close family. Mm. So the emotional um, trauma. Emotional trauma and stuff where you know your body, where you can't, you know, oh, like going to the, the bathroom. the physical things that people yeah, can't see. Yeah, like going to the bathroom and stuff like that. They don't know. Unless it's my close family, mm. but I've been through it with my family. Oh my God! I got, the, and then on top of me having the stroke that can't move, I like what five years and um, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, six years in six years into it, five years into it, I had a um bad back, so they had to do a surgery on my back. Sure, sure. And the bad back would have probably been because of how you have to walk with a cane, don't you? Mm -hmm. Never been and walk. And then they didn't fix it. I have, <laughs> I have it in February. They did not fix it February the seventh, um, two thousand seventeen. Then I have to go back in my cut, go go back and cut my back again in the same year, two thousand seventeen, the August. Is it? So you do one surgery in February and it not fix nothing. Yep. And if I go back August. And let me tell you, the stroke was was Christmas compared to the back surgery. Wow. Literally Christmas compared to the back surgery. Because wow. I didn't have, you don't feel pain when you have stroke. Mm. It, 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 it just can't them. move. Yeah, it just can't, it just can't move. But back surgery, that's the bone. And bone, no, medicine can't heal bone. Uh -uh. Can't, the pain can't, can't take away the pain. Unless they put you on the morphine. And I didn't, they didn't put me in that. And that was the worst part of my life. 
this is the two back surgery and I could not get up. So I must say my husband and my sons and my daughter, my daughter, oh my God. We ever hear them say, um, God send certain, send certain things to you. It's like um, kids are a blessing. My daughter is a blessing 10 times a blessing, a hundred times a blessing. Aww. Big up yourself, Teresa. She is the best. I mean, oh my God, I feel like crying just talking about Teresa. Aww. She did really, really good. And again, I don't remember most of the things that Teresa did to me. My brain, my brains will not let me remember it. Like bathing me, cleaning me and stuff like that. Can I, can I remember a thing about it? But I know she looked after me really well. And if you work out the match people, Teresa was, was in high school at the yeah, time. 17. 17 and I didn't get no nurse, no no assistant, nothing at all. Because you don't get those kind of assistants unless you're like low, low property. property. Mm. You get assistant. A nurse might come in and change the plastic, the, the band-aid on my back. She, uh, definitely a nurse have to come in and do that. But for me to, for them to come and clean me up and help me walk and stuff, I didn't get none of that. Teresa did all of that on her dad and her brothers. And let's talk about the bathroom, how you come home yeah. to, to a remodeled bathroom. Oh yes, after 10 years, when I, we had a, I had a, a regular shower, but Leopold has already break it down completely. And then, a lot, my sister was here, Teresa Alana from London when, she, when I had the stroke. So she did, she did a lot of the cleaning up and stuff. But she was <laughs> complaining that, oh, you gotta come home, your bathroom is not ready, the step is not ready, you don't have them to hold on to come up. I said, Lana, Leopold was gonna get it ready. She said, no, he's not because it's almost time for you to come home. I said, Lana, Leopold is gonna get it ready. Bye. I don't see him doing nothing. Every day she comes <laughs> to the hospital, like, I don't see him doing nothing. I said, Lana, just wait. When I ready to come, when I come into the hospital, my bathroom was all fully, 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 fully renovated. Step was fully renovated. Everything, everything there for, every, for handicap. Everything was ready for a handicap person to come home to. He did it himself. Himself. Yep. And, and he's not a contractor. Nope, not a contractor. <laughs> you know them so when, when it's trouble taking a picnic shot um, mm, fit you? Any of Jamaican man, they can do a little bit of everything. Jack of all they trade. might have one, one real skill when they have, because they have skill for him of English college, um, school for... um. Um, school. for the welding okay. but him can do everything like cars and stuff like that he can fix everything so so what what helped me to um to deal with the cat with the um the stroke, stroke. my kids when i tell you my kids turn my my stroke into a comedy <laughs> i mean they turned into a comedy because when i had the stroke and i start walking i fall a lot i mean a, 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 a nine months old baby didn't fall as much as i fall I fall so much until my sister-in-law said to me, because every time I, I fall, Leopold is always there to pick me up. <laughs> so my sister-in-law said, you yeah, sure no, is that, you sure is that Leopold pushing me down? Oh, every time you fall, he's, he's right there to pick you up. <laughs> always right there to pick me up. But let me tell you, my sons and my daughters, if I fall today and they pick me up and somebody just come into the door, before they even let me go, they start to show the person how I fell. <laughs> Our, our fall in slow motion and stuff like that. They turn the whole thing in a comedy. And that's what helped me. That's what helped me recover from my stroke so well. Right. Because I can do actually everything I try to do. Even if I have to sit down. So there's no pity party. You know, nope. My son, them, my son them do, 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 does not, my kids them does not pity me. <laughs> I, if that's what I'm looking for, look somewhere else. They will even tell people that comes around me do not help me. Mm-hmm. Yep. But then again, she likes to be independent too. Yeah. Because like when it. you think about it, um when 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 nobody's around, she have to can be to yeah. herself. So she always tried to be independent. Yep. But guys, some years ago she was in Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about some years ago. I think gonna talk about all right, go on. Well, uh, some years ago she was in Jamaica and we were all in the living room watching TV. I think it was news time. I would just hear somebody scream out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's all the scream out of here, boop, 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 boop. The lady in the shower, and it's the toilet chair you was. <laughs> I don't know. That's how, the, that's how when you um, when it, after the stroke, that's how you fall. Because I was getting up on the toilet. I don't know how I felt till I reached over in the tub. With, with, with the toilet seat holding out, with the, the toilet seat in my hand. The toilet seat See, in her hand, in, in her the show. Yes. I thought I'd die because I know I hit hard. <laughs> so I, I saw that it was bad. It was really bad. I thought I'd have to go take me to the emergency room. That's how bad I think I fit. 
I hit my head. And I expect to see a lot of blood down, the, down there, but... There was no blood. God damn, there was no blood. Hey, she, she balled for Jesus on that day. <laughs> I sure did. I was, my brothers, my two brothers had to come and lift me out of that tub, and it was hard. Oh, my God. Don't talk, you're talking about the, when I was in Jamaica. What about the other day? Just two, uh, two nights ago? Yes. Jesus Christ, the lady get up out of the chair. They get out of the chair. I'm only seeing her tumble over. And me and her alone, the woman. Now. So if she drop, me and her just like a slump on the ground the whole night. <laughs> so I, so I, I, I panicked for a minute. Because me try to hold her up so she not go fully over. And her foot slide. Me, me, I get weak. And because I'm panicking. But after a while, my face said, No, Shanissa, think, 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 think. Calm down and think. And then I eventually figured out that I needed to hold her lower. Because I was holding her by the waist. And me have bad back and two bad knee. And me try to hold her up by the waist for bring her back up. Because when she starts going down, she can't bring her back herself again. Because yeah. if I fall, I can't get up. None at all. Yeah. Yeah. Since just one Once she start slow. going down, there's no coming back up yeah, on her no, own. None at all. Somebody have yeah. to be there to yeah. hold her and bring her back up. Yeah. And me hold her by the waist. It's, so that's a lot of weight to try to bring her up by the waist. So I had to go below her bottom so I can help support her knees. And then the foot we can't because one side of her dead. So the side was dead. I had to I, I shifted it a little bit yeah. to the side so, so, so that you could um find grit on the mm. floor with the next foot. You know, that's the same thing I'm the market one time. Mm -hmm. I was going in this in, in the house right there mm -hmm. and the door I almost fell and she just she was uh, she was in front of me and she just stood up and hold me on her back. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh my god. Yeah. I fall I fall more than three hundred times, I swear. Everywhere I go, to the thing. church, I, will, I go to the church, anywhere I go, I just fall. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and I don't know, because I don't, it just, it just, it just pop like that. Yeah. You walk in and I just down on the ground. Yeah. And I'm always trying to hold on to something, I just, I always scream, I sure. Because I know when I'm going down, I scream a lot. Because I'm saying, um, stroke is a brain thing, you know, guys. Mm -hmm. So if your brain doesn't tell your foot for move. Yeah, my left foot, if it doesn't tell yeah. my left foot. If I'm going like I'm normal and trying to walk and talk. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we say stop talking and just keep walking. <laughs> so your brain can focus. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. So that if man. if the brain I tell it to move, man, she, she, I straight her ground. Yeah, don't don't think that is all. It's all. It's 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 okay now. But trust me, I cried. I cried a whole. I hope, for, for, for probably a whole year straight because I couldn't understand why why do I get six, a stroke at four to six. six. So sometimes if and then then my doctor keep asking. Are you depressed? No, no, no. Oh God, I was depressed till I can't depress no more. <laughs> One time I just it was just depression time. It was just pre depression landing over me completely. Take over the whole body, the Which whole mind, natural. the whole soul, everything. Because you're used to it. Because you're used to like, yeah, able to yeah, up but, and go baby yeah, that way you want to. Yeah, but then you then you sitting and figure it. I am actually handicapped. I can't do this, I can't do that. And I bound now and I bound able to do everything so it's hard it's just like a person lose their sight yeah it's really hard after them being seen for so exactly. long exactly it's yeah. it's it's easier when you're born with a handicap because yeah. that's all you know mm. but when you're born normal and able-bodied and then you lose function completely, completely because guys her left hand and the left leg totally gone because mm, up to now i can't move the toes in my left leg yeah, the, yeah. The, the, she can't move, she can move the, the, the left yeah, hand a little bit so yeah. but she can't really your finger them can't open up yeah this one can't open up but then one exercise now. But today uh, is a lot of therapy, guys. Move your hand. Yeah, yeah it's open up. But it's but you, you can't really stretch your hand. You can't try to stretch your hand. It can't go because I can't go my hair with it. Can't go. Right, that's what. Yeah. Yeah, can't go. It's about it. That's it's it. Handicap. <laughs> <laughs> so most times she have it unk up here. So so <laughs> so when she's taking pictures, her kids are like, the next move side, move the handicap hand. Thirds I move. Thirds I love. She always thirds fix it and fix it and fix it and. But if you if you if you don't know, you don't know. Because I'm so pretty and so Jesus beautiful, Christ. it hid everything. <laughs> the friend is kick away the under camera. But guys, should do everything, you know. Sometimes you're the vacuum out there, run. I mean, I'm no me alone. I'm me and her alone there. You're all the vacuum around. I try, I try and do stuff. If, 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 so she will sit down, yeah. Push it, push it back, back in. And everything. she cook. So she have a chair in the kitchen, and her kitchen is so accessible so mm. she have a chair right there so she can reach a sink the counter the stove mm -hmm. so she don't really have to move much yeah once she got everything what she wants she put it right there so and she sit down and she do what she want because she love cook love 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 cook um love it's, it's, cook. it's a that uh, is a family therapy. thing that or like therapy for me and therapy okay. for her but cooking in our dna 
Not really mine, but it's now a day, mm-hmm. <laughs> kids Oh, I remember one time, I think, some couple years ago, my father got a doctor, and then put one long niggly in Oh, yeah, the one of them are bad. Both of them is bad. So then put, um, put, um, but I think I get shot, two shots in the money for get the function. I must have one for chair work with me, guys. So uh-huh. enough pressure that Pando one knee. Yep, it's going off. All of it is rubbing away. That's why I felt the other day. Because if I tell you, my, 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 my good knee feel bad. Uh-huh. And yeah. Well, I remember how you get the stroke here. I remember your little one time say, um, them say, Okay. You, even though you were sleeping, your brains wasn't sleeping, so you were underrested. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Um, uh, when I lied and I said if I wasn't sleeping, my brain wasn't resting. So that's why I get the stroke. It was tired. And you know, the time when I went to um, New York, and I was telling Andrew, I said, I'm tired. I am really, really tired. I went the same weekend after uh-huh. after I get the stroke, the same week. Before you get the yeah, stroke? Yeah, before I get the stroke, because I come down the Sunday and I get the stroke the Tuesday. Because I'm saying I'm really tired. There's somewhere in the back of my wrist that hurt me. But I'm more tired than anything else. Damn, never know. If I would have been all pretty, I'm still good. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Guys, she have, every walk you walk in, I always just see some for handicap. You see one, I just want cane, one crutch. Like, she have a million and one thing. My, my daughter makes sure she have everything to live to live good. Everything there's handicap that, that she get them for me. She proud of her handicapness, yes. and she, she proud to be handicapped in America in because state, of the benefit. Out, okay, and America take care of them. Yes, they do. That's one thing. And everything is accessible for you. Yes. If I walk to Walmart and a, a white person or a black person see me, they just come out and get fired. Oh, do you need one of those? Oh, let me go get it. Oh, we don't see them. My daughter will go to look and check the parking lot, and I and I go and check the whole Walmart. So, yeah, it's, it's not bad. It's that's that, that's the one thing I would say compared to here and Jamaica when it um com- when it concerns or handicap or or disabled and sick people, is that America the the it's so you can Easy. access places yeah, easily. It's, like, um, it's yeah. accessible for them. Yeah, because and the bathroom is really good too and stuff. Really, yeah. really good. So even even though we have like the handicap bathrooms in Jamaica, I find that we don't have enough ramps. Mm-mm. Um, we don't have carts in the store for people who can't really manage to walk. Yeah, like so if so, she forgets so to go back to Jamaica, what should I do? Yeah, so you cannot you can get shut in because there is yeah. no, no no bathroom, good bathroom for you, no ramp for you if you have a wheelchair for push you up and, and stuff like that. So they actually stop in the house. I don't stop stuck in the house. I drive to where I wanna go. Yeah, she and drive. I have everything. She drive. But, yeah. She, you notice that she drive me everywhere. Yeah, I drive to where I wanna go. With our one and our one foot. Yes, I do. <laughs> Because when I look at the TV and see some people will, will don't have no foot on and I'm doing stuff, I said, no, this girl is not going to be sitting down here and nobody can come. My kids would have loved to be sitting in the house. Nope. Not and yet. That's another thing we're talking about, the willpower, because you could have, you could have sit down in your depression and say, yeah. oh, you're sick and you can't do nothing. But um, she pushed herself to and be the, where she is. The, the trainers, them with the hospital and the doctors, them. They said they couldn't. They never seen nobody get up, get back together so fast. With such a major no, stroke. It, yeah, with such a major stroke. Because I pushed myself. They said, if it don't work, much, you're, not, you're gonna lose your bed. Because that's what they do. A lot of people here lose their bed because they just get the stroke and they just lie down because they feel they feel so bad that they get hurt and stuff. They don't wanna help themselves. That's right. If a baby them coming to the bathroom, you have to wash them for too. I want you to put me in the bathroom, but when I can't sit up, so I'm going down. <laughs> but I wanna go in the shower to bed. And I do everything. I do everything. Never one day miss a um, a, um physical, therapy. physical therapy. Never one day miss one. Not one day. How much month I stay in there? Not one day ever miss a physical therapy. That's, she said, what do you want to do? Your three goals. I need to be able to drive, cook, straight in. Oh. And bathe myself. Yes. No, I bathe myself. And you can do all of yes, that now. And, and more. The November, the November, the same year I cook Christmas dinner. The, the, people, the people that was coming and said, are you going to be able to cook um, Christmas dinner? <laughs> this year they just have a major yeah, stroke. Thanksgiving this dinner. I have a stroke in, in March and in November I was cooking Thanksgiving dinner on my chair. People have come and look on the and say, are you going to be able to cook? They even pray for me because I can't get out to come, come, come cook. They even pray for me to come out to, so I can get better, better to come out and cook. Yeah. And I forgot it. Liz, mom, uh, pray for me. I Whoa. Said, yeah, you have to come home to come See? cook. Prayer Christmas work. Dinner. I should mm-hmm. cook. Uh. Yep. And I went to I went to Ter- Teresa's um graduation, the June. The June. But Ter- and Teresa didn't know we were coming. She cries. Aww. When I'm standing in the back in the wheelchair, like, they would be just to hold me up, and I start calling her. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yep. That June, must have been a moment. Yes. Yeah. I have to do stuff. 
So yes, Some guys. Actually, they actually throw them in. Actually, pamper me still. But not they like, do. But like, yeah, they do pamper me. Yeah, they do. They don't. They don't. Um, spoil in the sense of um, make her become more of an invalid mm -hmm, person. But them take care of her as children to mother. Yes, Lord, they do. Yes, yes. Lord. I can't, so say, yes, I can't say I'm proud of my, my kids. Yes. My, it's five kids I have, two two for my husband. All five of them is good. All five of them. Yes. Yeah. The two for the husband, you, you don't even know, say, They're it's not, not hers. <laughs> mm -hmm. And they I, call her mom. And they are like, and them live with their mother. Them and them know their mother, they yep. call she mommy. Yep. <laughs> they are good. Yep. But that also speaks to the type of person you are and the relationship you fostered with them. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, 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 when I came here, there was like two and a, a nine months or something like that. Mm. And I have me and Joseph and I like I have never one day in our life say something bad to each other. Never, never. Mm -hmm. I say something. Me and me and my, me and my real daughter will say something bad to each other <laughs> <laughs> more than I like it, uh, Joseph. <laughs> never one day. <laughs> Teresa is the one that. <laughs> Yeah, because that's your blood, so she will fresh herself. That, that's, me, that's me, that's me. No, she's her own self, and yeah. that's why they can't get along because yeah. they're too much alike. Yeah, Teresa is she's me. a bully, and she tried to bully Teresa, but Teresa is always strong headed and strong willed. Yeah, she finds her great she and find her space. Teresa. She finds her space in her self in life, so she. Yes. One time she was, I could have covered down until I do this, do that, do that. Mm. Not anymore. But yes, she, guys. She's flying. That's that. Now you know why she's with the cane. I know you understand. How to, how you can be up one day and in a, oh my God, and a snap it. of a finger you're down. That's it. I was I was so high, like I was taking drugs. <laughs> if I go to the party with people, if I, with my best friend, mm -hmm. she has to taste my actually taste my juice to make sure I'm not taking drinking liquor the way high I, I am. <laughs> she, um, yeah, she said, Marcy, let me taste that juice. Cause you are too high. I go to the club. They ask me, why are you so high? You drinking sp drinking Sprite? I said, I'm <laughs> high for my three kids at the time. My three kids. Life make me life mm -hmm. make me high. I have to take no drugs to get high. You yeah, high for life yeah, itself. I was high. But then again, you know what? The way how I, I, I try to accept my stroke after years, probably around five, six years, I was kind of tired because I have to look after my brother and sit after my mom died early. So our mom died when she was like 38. And I, and I have, um, I had my four brothers and sisters to um, look after me and my brother, my actually almost twin brother. So we had to look after them. So we had to, and we had to look after them long before my mom died because she was always sick. Oh, she was always sick, yeah. yeah. So after I came up here and had my next do my daughter and my three kids and it's not like I just started looking after kids. I was looking after kids long from before. From your kid yourself. Yeah from I was a kid nine year old or a ten year old. And I had to wash cook and, and everything like that. So and my brain was actually tired. Every morning I get up and say to my husband Leopold, can I stop work? Lord, can I stop work? Every day. I said, I, can't, I just want to stay on lying, lying in my bed. So I kind of get to the, come to a conclusion over why I had the stroke. I said, God gave me this stroke to slow me down, to get stop me from working, but to make sure that I still can look after myself enough and get support from for, off, off of my job because I was working like for 20 years over here. So, oh yeah, tw exactly 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I can get my my social security out of my out of my social security people them. So so I can still able to look after myself. So you're, you're still financially. Yeah. yeah. So wow. that that's how I, that's how I, get, I put it together. Me. That's how I put it together. Cause I, boy, do I pray to beg God, beg not pray. I beg Him. <laughs> and as if like I, pray, I said, God, please, I'm just so tired. I am so tired. So after a while, I have to put everything into perspective and Perfect. said, and said, well, this must be the reason why I, why I'm here. I don't think if I go to work, I can't sit on every. I can't if I don't feel like working three days in straight. Don't do like do nothing in my house for three days straight. I can't just lie down and put my foot through and recline my, my bed. I make my foot stay up. I, 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 I <laughs> recline my foot until it stay up high until I just relax for the whole day. If I find a movie what I want to watch, what I want to binge watch, binge, binge watch, watch. yes, yeah, for three days straight, I can do that. We don't have to go to and work. I say, oh my God, I gotta go to work. I gotta go to work. I can't do that. Hey, so sometimes you have to be very careful when open my mouth and big face. Yes, you know? that's what I tell be my sister. Be specific. That's, that's what I tell my sister in law. Say, say, Margaret, 
Don't don't even say you don't want to go to record. Trust me, it will come true. Uh -huh, That's why I was sure it come true. Sure <laughs> did. And I mean, what's what you put in your mouth? Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. She, she put it in front of like whatever she happened to put through her. Anyways, guys, we're gonna wrap it up right there. Thanks for watching and um, take care of yourself. Eat healthy, yes. rest, and be careful when you ask for. Yeah, be careful, be careful, be careful. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Anyways, so you know, like, Bye. share, and subscribe. Later. Bye.